everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Fear. As always, I'm your host, Josh, with me is my friend Dalton. Say hello. Hello. And... God damn it, mouse. <coughs> and we're picking up exactly where we left off after the first five episodes of this... I am playing, Dalton is watching, and we are streaming this to Twitch. So, there's a Twitch link in the description below. Don't you have work to do? Oh, wait, I, I, I loaded the wrong one. Did, did you manually save after we finished, or is it like an auto-save? I manually saved. Oh, okay. I don't remember where I was. But yeah, um... Hey, there's glass I didn't break. And there's armor I didn't pick up. Sweet. So that was worth going down there. Um... Pick it up exactly where we left off in the last one. And I always... When I do single-player games like this, I stream it to Twitch. And if you guys want to watch me do that, there is a link in the description below for you to watch me stream this to Twitch. And if you are one of the people that does tune into Twitch, hello. Thank you for joining us. We do appreciate it. Uh, sorry about the first five episodes of this, though. Um, kind of annoying, but the, uh, you could barely hear Dalton. Yeah, it was pretty inaudible. Yeah, and I know exactly what I did wrong. What I did wrong was I had the desktop audio turned way down for him on uh, on OBS, which I am using to stream and record this. And um, it didn't pick up anything he said or did as a direct result of that. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry the first five episodes, it's just mostly me talking because you can't hear him for shit. And it will be fixed moving forward. We seem to always... Oh, shit. Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. Okay, uh, I, I'm loading again because that, that was... I got my ass kicked. The AI is too good. Yeah, the AI in this game is really <laughs> good. Uh, but yeah, it will be it will be better moving forward because I know what I did wrong. I had the desktop audio turned way the fuck down and it it has the Skype call be part of the desktop audio uh, when you record with OBS so you can't have that oh oh look, look what I missed when I came through here this first oh, time a health booster yeah could always use that. Yeah, the game gives you an incentive to like search around for items and stuff. Yeah, it most certainly does. So the world sucks right now. Yeah, well, what else is new? I mean, like more so than ever before for a long time, but yeah. And apparently, if you talk about why the world sucks right now. Uh, and you say anything that goes against uh, the World Health Organization, you might get uh, um, it's too hot for TV, as you can say. Yeah, <laughs> too hot for the internet. Yeah, it, uh, and that's despite the World Organization having we know they did things wrong. Like Oh, 
Die. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, if I shoot those pipes, shit goes kablooey. I forgot about that. Fire. Use it to your advantage. And fire. <laughs> I'm real, I've been really looking forward to this Let's Play. I like Fear a lot. It's a hell of a lot of fun. If you've never played Fear, I would in, strongly encourage you to do so. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's saving. Because you don't need a... Like, you don't need a really powerful PC to play it these days, so, I mean, it's pretty... I mean, it you didn't give a so far. Oh, yeah. Years ago. Oh, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend playing the PC version first, because it's very playable on a lot of, like, even subpar systems these days. But even, uh, I would even say that if you, it's still playable, it's still very much playable on, like, 360 and... Yeah, the, if you get a console version, get the 360 version. Unfortunately, yeah, the don't... 360 version is not, it's not, uh... Uh, backwards compatible with it. it doesn't work on the Xbox One, which is unfortunate. I w kept hoping they would make Fear backwards compatible so I could play that version in 4K because that would be awesome. Okay, so that looks like the way I'm supposed to go. So what is this vent over here? I have to know. Inquiring minds want to know. It be a secret. It might be a reflex booster. Who knows? Or a health booster, one of the two. Yeah, like a like a game like this needs like incentive to explore, so that's a good incentive. That's why it's that's half the reason why it's a good game. Wait, you need am to I going like the right way? Some yeah, have a cutscene. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Wait, you've got the Seems like a pretty important cutscene. Uh, uh, Pax and Fettel interrogating someone. Seems like that was like the right way, to, right way to go. Or maybe not. Okay, so if this is the way to go, then what is the other way that I could have gone? Let's backtrack and find that out. I killed myself with a grenade. Oh, whoops. I hit F <laughs> instead. I hit G instead of F. Oh, God. I, I, I usually make the grenade button like, like the mouse 4 or mouse 5 or something. Well, it defaults to G. Yeah. It's kind of... Kind of sucks in some... Oh, that's the, um... Is that, is that the nail gun, or is that something else? Yeah, that's the nail gun. It's, okay, yeah. If I remember right, this thing's favorites. actually pretty good. The can, nail like, gun. You can, like, attack... You can, like, stick people to walls with this thing, can't yeah. you? Yeah. It, it, it's akin to, like, the stake driver and painkiller. Same type of gun. I need to play more that automatic someday. And painkiller is so great. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a dead end. I've always heard it, it, it's great. Like I remember what Yahtzee said. It, it you get a gun that shoots shurikens and lightning. The only way that it could be better is as if it had tits and was on fire. <laughs> so, in other words, it's an anime game. I mean, you probably would have a shurikens <laughs> and lightning tits on fire game gun in an anime game. I'm sure there's some out there that exists. I won't doubt it. By the way, just so y'all know, I have finished.
I have finished my playthrough of Halo 3 ODST. So you guys can look forward to that. No, get up there. In the, you guys look forward to that. I still need to get some gameplay footage of the Xbox 3, of the Xbox 360 game version of the game running on the Xbox One and the Xbox One game as well. That is oh, we get to see this again. So it seems like this is the way to go, I guess. Yeah. Well, the other way led to a dead end, so I'm going with this way. Yeah, it's got to be it. And I got a gun the other way, so that's cool. Fuck you, Glass. And, and that that's a short game. It was only five parts for that Let's Play. For that, for that playthrough, rather. And you guys can watch that on my gameplay channel if you want to. So you guys check that out. Or if you don't want to, you can just look forward to my video review of it, which will be coming up. Um, I'll probably, at the very least, have it written and revised the next time we record more here. So you guys can get excited about that. Oh, shit. We... we uh, Oh, that's not the end of that. That is the end of the interval, isn't it? I think so. More glass to break. Look at that moody light. God, that's so good. Especially for 2005. The lighting was amazing in this game. This was like, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. Alma. Oh, Alma, yeah, here we go. You see Some it? Alma stuff coming up. Yep. You, you just barely catch a, catch a glimpse of her as you're sliding down that. Oh! Back, Pax and Fettel. Okay. They, they all deserve to die. This is kind of like a Half Life 2 of 2005 in a way for PC gaming. Yeah. And in terms of like the technological, like the hardware, like aspects of the game and. Yeah, this this game was a very very impressive tactical showpiece. I forgot about these radios. Oh yeah, jump kicks, right. You really hate glass, don't you? I don't know why I always destroy the <laughs> glass in this game, but I always do. Oh yeah, more ammo for my here shotgun. Oh, fuck, you see it? There's a health booster, yep. How, how do I get to the health booster? I don't remember. That's some, cla that's some classic FPS uh, teasing right there. Yeah. I don't remember how to get to that health booster. It feels like Doom, like when you get like a tease of like a secret area or something. Yeah, well, yeah like the very first area of Doom where you look out the windows. Uh, you want M1 at the, the very first... Uh, when you see like the, the body armor in the first area of the game yeah right outside the big windows and you're yeah. like, how the fuck do I get there well you can get there it's just a secret so, yeah it's fairly simple too oh there's Elma again The one problem that I really have with this game, the one problem that I think everybody has with this game, is that uh, level design is kind of repetitive. Yeah, you see a lot of the same areas over and over again. Same enemies, I mean, 
I mean, there there are different enemies later in the game, but I mean, for the most part, you see the same type of like shit like majority of the game. Yeah. There's not like there's not too much variation. I mean, there's like office spaces and shit like that later on, but yeah, you go through a lot of industrial feels, complex areas and office spaces and shit. It feels very yeah, but it feels very similar to like the places you've been to like before. But it does do a good job of keeping uh, fights that you go through fresh. Oh, yeah. Because uh, the enemy AI is just so fucking good in this game. I'm going to go down in that trench and see if that doesn't take me to that health booster. (laughs) Hey, what do I win? There we go. It's too hard to find. Nothing over here. Let's go back to those stairs. And there's two ways I can go, and I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go. But I do kind of like that it keeps it non-linear like that. It gives you room to, like, explore and whatnot. Yeah. And you want to find the health boosters and the other things. Yeah, it'll come in handy later on, trust me. Yeah, this game gets harder. You, know, like, you start fighting those uh, mech guys, and those are a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. A calendar with a wrench on it. What are you, boring? Is it, yeah, you'll see that a lot throughout the game. What the fuck happened here? Well, uh, we failed that sign. Hell, the irony. Please keep room bloody and dirty. Seems pretty fitting. Yeah. Did a pretty good job there. Yep, definitely. Let's Let's go back down and go the other way. Okay. So I was, so I just almost reached the end of that path and then I turned around after I got the uh, message. The atmosphere in this game is so fucking good. A lot of times that that there isn't much, uh, like this game has its own original score and it's good, but a lot of times it's quiet like this and it it just goes for like moody atmospherics, environmental sound effects and shit. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no! Um, like, it knows when they use it. There is blood on the ceiling. Yeah, it's not natural. I think we're hearing the birth of Alma. But there's a lot of lore in that. This is pretty jarring if you don't know anything about the game when you're playing it for the first time. Yeah, it it, it has these environmental uh, horror effects like that that are just creepy. They kind of come out of nowhere when you're just walking along, not really doing anything. It's a good balance, I would say. I mean, Monolith did a pretty good job on balancing the horror and the the action. Oh, okay. I see where to go. Okay. Yeah. And this goes for real horror. It's not like fear where it's horror themed, but it's I wouldn't call fear a horror game. Just no. A horror themed game, like yeah. Like, oh yeah. Let's have fun with iconic horror with with horror icon iconography. Yeah. Like uh. 
I even see some people say it's a survival horror game, which it definitely is, like, far from a survival horror game. It's a first, definitely a first-person shooter, first yeah. and foremost. Yeah, this is a... It's a it's a whole action horror. 